Hey YouTube, Fatan here, back with uh, the third episode of my Let's Play for Monster Hunter Free Night. Got my new cable, so I'm playing on the PSP controller again. Um, between the uh, uh, episode 2 and episode 3, I finally uh, I went mining in the jungle a lot. I did a lot of mining runs. Uh, upgraded to the Iron Katana Gospel. Now, this is important because one of the best uh, swords in the like earlier stages of the game, once you get past like into the f uh, free star, is this. It's called the Eager Cleaver. Now it needs electro sacks, and those are fairly simple to come across uh, once you're in free star. So that's no issue. But here's a sword that I'm not sure if I'm going to be using. It needs fire weapon fluid. Flame sack is from Kutku. Medium muscle bone is from Kutku. Fire weapon fluid is normally from. Uh, monster a little later on, but Trenya allows you to get it this early on, and anyone can do this. Anyone can go on the internet, download Trenya, and uh, just send him to the jungle with 200 points to get Fire Weapon Fluid. He's, he comes back with like four of it at a time. So, yeah, anyone can do that. Um, I'm probably, for that reason, I'm probably going to use it because it's available at this stage of the game. And I thought for a minute, I hadn't resized the window properly, but I have. So yeah, um, I'm going to be selling the third fire weapon fluid. I only need two. <coughs> oh damn it, I could reach the mute button in time. So that was a weird sneeze because I was trying to hold it in at the same time as reach for the mute button. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to bother using the kitchen, but uh, now that I've got this longsword, I should have no issues with the uh, creature we're about to fight. Uh, the rarest of the rare beasts. It's called the Congalala, and it's a... Well, you'll we'll see. Y you'll see. It's a interesting creature indeed. But now that I have this cable, I can uh, start zooming through these episodes. There might be they're probably going to put up two episodes today, and then, uh, well I can't do as, get through this as quickly as I, I might like, because I kind of, uh, ended up joining another league team, and they've got me going in for practice today, so, well they want me on in like two hours, so. I should. I, I'll be able to get to free star in that time. This is what I need. There we go. The sword is uh, so. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the sword is a little strong for this area, but it's easily obtainable if once you've got two star. You just uh, look up. If you don't know where all the mining spots are, you can look up a map of the jungle on the wiki, and then just go to all the mining spots, and just mine from them. Or if you're looking for like, a certain Maculite, then go to those spots first. Uh, there's, there's a bone gathering spot in Area 7 where you can turn iron ore into more iron pickaxes. I really should have eaten my rations before I got in here. Yeah, he's a giant pink monkey. That sucks at aiming. Ah, god damn it. This is the only thing I'm not really a big fan of in the jungle is the uh, insane amount of trees they like to. There's more tree than monster in here. And it almost got me hit. God, will you stay still? This is why this fight takes a while the first time you do it. You have to... And god damn. Oh yeah, if, you, if there's any way of getting quake resistance before this point, go for it. I, I'm pretty sure there isn't there. But when you fight the high rank one, you want quake resistance. 
Because when he goes down like that is one of the best times to get free hits off on him. If you have quick resistance. Okay, that was kind of greedy of me. I shouldn't have done the final bit in the combo. Stupid monkey. The little monkeys are the most annoying ones because they just they don't do any damage but they knock you down. Ah! Oh, I, I forgot what that was. I was like, what the fuck's he doing? I, I forgot what his, the read on his stinker was. Throw down some deodorant and you're all good. That, if it, you could, basically, one person can get rid of the smell on all four people in a party by throwing deodorant down in the right spot. And now he's pissed off. This is going to be a lot of dodging. He is very fast. He's one of the. This is the re, his rage mode is the reason he's a wall in the game. Pretty much one of the only reasons he's a wall, actually. Out of rage mode, he's easy to read. Well, I say that after failing to read his stinker, but you get the idea. And I'm hoping my sound levels are at the right level. The game sounds a little loud in my ears, but then from streaming I know that if the music's too loud for me, then it's the right level for the stream for some reason. I, I don't know what's up with that. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna watch it over. And then next episode there will be more sound corrected audio. Wait, where are you going? Area 9. It's just shopping and get over there with him. <laughs> He's one of the only like, non-winged monsters, except the Blangonga, who actually switches area by going through the air. He just, he can jump that high. He, he's weak already. Over. That simple. Took me about five minutes. Would have been quicker if I had learned, if I knew how to read him better. He isn't my favorite pastime monster. Haven't fought him since I farmed up my hunting horn, and that was, uh, that was prior to even doing Silver Raphalos. Like, we got a pair of those hunting horns for Silver Raphalos. And when you're tranquilized, you tend to not move, so... I don't know why he is. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this quest. You just slap him up, kill him, take your ward and go home. Attack from, uh... Attack from the sides with this guy. And then when he's in rage mode, attack from behind slightly to his his left, your so his tail is on your right. Attack his that leg, and then you'll sometimes knock him over. Don't attack the other leg because otherwise you can get hit by the uh, sweeping claws easier. But yeah, he drops some very expensive stuff. This is this guy is a good way to make money if you can kill him as quickly as I can. You, if you, well, unless you want to make his armor, in which case you'll still get a good amount of money because he gets 1500 reward, but his gear is, like, all his pelts and stuff are really expensive. And if you can break his head with a hammer, you get, uh, I think you get the Vibrant Pelt in this game. No, no, Vibrant Pelt is. No, Vibrant Pelt is in this game, yeah. It's for breaking that guy's crust. <laughs> But yeah, sadly with this cable, uh, one thing I did realize is I read the, 
I didn't read the length of it, and it's like super long, so I've had to use an extension lead that came with my uh, another a headset I've got in the cupboard, uh, which I can't use because my sound card is a pile of poop. Yeah, another advantage of capturing over killing is that you have nothing to put away after the quest. But anyway, uh, the reason I'm only really using the longsword here is because this katana is easy to make. Uh, it takes a little time, but it's really easy to make, and it's just going to carry you through this so easily. Uh, no, don't need to do that. Need to do that gonna do this one. Uh, they should give me cool drinks. Anyway, I'll hunt this guy. I didn't re... I was about to press home to skip this. But I don't have it rebounded to select at the moment. Oh well. Wait, I saw it with my box. I do have it rebound to slate. Why didn't that work? It's, I, I'm glad I didn't because this allows me to introduce the desert to you. Ah, yeah, supply flash bombs. Now I get to show you what those are good for. And remember to take the cool drinks. Main reason I'm not used to that is because I always use, normally uh, have like almost three full pages of inventory items. Now, if I remember rightly, this guy doesn't actually have an intro movie. So, finding him is a bit of a pain. Wait. Is that him over there? <laughs> I stand corrected. He starts in Area 4, apparently. And if he would just stop moving for a second. You know what? Fuck the paintball. He's gonna die too quickly for it anyway. And the main annoyance here is gonna be the Cephalos. And I think my game may actually be a little too loud, so I'm gonna turn it down. It's a little too quiet. There's nothing on this guy you can break, so just smack him any way you can. That easy. People don't like farming in this game, but farming... Like, you'll see it again later game. Farming as much as I did for this sword will make me such a powerful sword that the... Pretty much end game bosses will be f fairly simple, actually. More simple than I would like them to be. But the end game bosses still take a long fight. And some extra. You, when we get there, you'll see what I mean. And I do believe that wasn't even 20 minutes. So I can throw in the Cephatrobe. For which I hope they give me a shock trap. Because I'm going to try and... Oh, it's impossible to lure him into a shock trap, isn't it? Damn. But yeah, that was that was Geodrome. No, not that was Gendrome. Pretty simple. I actually say he's easy in the Velocidrome. He's got less health. I think the only thing is he can paralyze you, and I'm, I've never been paralyzed by him. So. This guy isn't so great. He gives a bunch of gem prey stuff which isn't worth much but his hides are nicely priced. For me, I thought that was an electro sack and I was about to be like I can make the eagle cleaver already? Because if I had known that I would have fought gem prey last episode so I could have got a couple of electro sacks off him but yeah those were paralysis sacks. That's gem prey and gendrome's entire thing. They can paralyze you. Which is why gem prey are the uh some of the most annoying creatures to have as trash mobs. Trash mobs. Uh, I 
can't. I just woke up. You have to excuse me. But one of the most annoying trash mobs because if they land on you, they could paralyze you, and then you'll take a nice big hit from the monster. Yeah, this is the uh, one I was referring to, the war drum. I we pretty much had this fully upgraded, except for one. I think it was I fully upgraded from Monster Hunter Freedom Two, but not for Unite, because we we didn't actually my little group didn't play during Unite. We we didn't get into G rank. I beat the Akanto, but hmm, they are very very similar. Could make it. It's decent-ish. I don't know. I still have the yeah, whole theory with bows that they're only really good at their ele elemental. Not a fan of guns much. Still got to get a monster fluid for this. Although I'm turning, it, I'm going to be turning into this. I just got to remember how to get large monsters. But I think that I think that comes with three stars. So yeah, you can't. I'm not. I don't think you can get Red Wing, which is pretty much like the sword version of that other. Yeah, great sword version of this. Okay, so Cephadrobe's up next. Would I quit yawning, please? Um, it's gonna be pretty simple to fight him. I'm gonna go see if I've got any sonic bombs. This guy won't take long to fight, so I'm just going to fight this guy and that'll be the end of this episode. I need to, I really do go, get a, uh, I really do need to get a timer. Anyway, wait, for next episode I'm going to look to see what uh, the rest of the key quests are, because I think one of them is really annoying, but I'm going to be showing all the key quests anyway, so. I need to show it, I think it's one way you have to kill a bunch of those. Uh, Cephalos, the guys in the last quest that were attacking me alongside the Gendron, but they didn't really do much. I killed the Gendron way too quickly for them to be an issue. Anyway, uh, he starts off in area 5 and won't move until you get there the first time you do the quest. He he, main, he mainly goes uh, between 5 and 2. I don't think he goes into area 1, but those are his pretty much only areas. I think you can get him in area 9 for healing. Like he sleeps in there to heal. I think that's pretty much where all the monsters sleep to heal in this quest. In this area. But apart from that he just swims around in sand. But one thing that you'll find annoying when you fight stuff like this guy and all the other cephalos is that they will go underground so quickly after you bring him up. Like he, his first move here is probably going to be going straight back underground. See? So what I'm going to do is, he doesn't have much health, so I'm just going to throw the portable shark trap down. That's pretty much perfect. Doesn't ha he shouldn't have much health. Wouldn't be surprised if he's already like half dead. But he's already going under again. And I don't know what brought him up there. Whoa. Where'd the big guy go?
He's the one with the darker fin. I think this is him. Oh fuck, I missed. My god, I can't... My depth perception on the monitor is really bad. But the PSP screen is fine. It's just the monitor. And there we go. And that's why I like to bring as many Sonic Bombs as possible. I had to use three decks I missed with one. Because I'm, I'm bad. But yeah, that, that, that uh, thing with the trap earlier was really nice. It gave me quite a few free hits. Pretty much half killed him just using the trap. So if you can get something like that, that's good. But if not, you have to be chasing him around with Sonic Bombs and stuff. And then uh, after this, I'll show you how to create Sonic Bombs so that you can actually do the quest yourself. You'll need a lot of Sonic Bombs for another quest as well. Another key quest. So basically, you've got to get uh, three fairly low drop rate items off the little versions of this guy. And they don't like to come out of the sand on their own. You have to get them out with a sonic bomb. Which is why I usually take like eight or so with me. Or if you want to be, instead of uh, crafting them like I'm going to do, and you want to be really productive, you can uh, farm ye and cuckoo and take the sonic bombs out of the chest during that quest. Uh, like, get eight sonic bombs off that quest, kill the cuckoo without using them. Because he doesn't, he doesn't need them. Like it, all it does is really is put him in rage mode. And I don't know why you got paralysis sex with this guy. And there's large monster bones, so you can get Red Wing before you fight Kazu. I don't really see that guy as a large monster. He's more of a medium in my opinion. But if you get large monster bones off him, you get large monster bones off him. I didn't design the game. I didn't make the rules. I just accept what they throw at me. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh. Hoping the audio is good. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm gonna find out what the other quests are that we got. I've got to do for the, uh, key quest stuff. And, uh, like I promised, uh, gunpowder. No, it's. Nitro Shroom plus Fire Hub gives you gunpowder. Now, then gunpowder plus a screamer, which you get from uh, Yin Cuckoo or or Velocidrome, you get Sonic Bomb or garbage. It's not exactly a high success rate, but yeah, you get the idea. Yeah, I should. They give you two Sonic Bombs during the quest. I should have enough Sonic Bombs now to do the liver quest. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode where I'll finish off the rest of the key quests and maybe fight the urgent quest boss. So yeah, see you guys in the next part.